The Ryzen 5 1400 is a 4 core, 8 threaded CPU that comes in at roughly $160, almost half the price of the 7700K, which is Intel's 4 core, 8 threaded CPU that admittedly overclocks higher and has better IPC. Though one must wonder, does it make a difference when coupled with mid range graphics cards? Well, let's find out. Welcome back to Tech Yes City, and today we have the GTX 1060 from Aorus and also the RX 580 from Sapphire, both overclocked and coupled with the Ryzen 5 1400, which is overclocked to 4 GHz, and also coupled with the 7700K, which is overclocked to 5 GHz. And we're going to compare these two CPUs head to head to see how much of a difference the 7700K Premium nets you in terms of FPS with mid range graphics cards at 1080p. So without wasting any more of your time, let's roll them benchmarks. And like always, the benchmarks do the talking. And what we saw here across seven different games is that the 7700K, although it edged out the R5 1400, it really didn't edge it out by a whole lot. It's not like you'd want to go and spend that extra $160 if you were getting a mid-range graphics card. The Ryzen 5 1400 provided really good performance. I was really surprised also in Battlegrounds as well, Players Unknown's Battlegrounds, scoring at over 80 average FPS. Though the biggest outlier on this graph was GTA 5 with the Nvidia graphics card. It was getting almost 50% more FPS with the 7700K. Though keep in mind, with these tests, I do like to drop the settings just a little bit. I usually put it on a custom blend of high settings and relatively low MSAA. This allows me to get high FPS and still maintain good visual quality. And it's something that I like to do with my benchmarks. So when it comes down to it, the Ryzen 5 1400 and the 7700K both did a great job of maxing out these mid-range graphics cards. However, with the Ryzen 5 1400, it does come in a lot cheaper than the 7700K. So if you are building a computer, like a lot of people, they like to build computers every few years and just not upgrade at all and just sell that old computer. If you're one of these people, then the Ryzen 5 1400 coupled with a mid-range graphics card is really good value for money at the moment. However, with the Ryzen CPUs in itself, if you have the extra money, I always recommend going for the Ryzen 5 1600. It's only a little bit more money than that 1400 you get a bigger cooler included and of course you get two more cores and four more threads which makes a big difference especially in this build if you get this cpu then you can possibly just upgrade your gpu in the future and still have really good performance the worst for the 7700k you do pay a premium over the ryzen cpus but it is currently the best cpu for gaming x299 may change that but that's yet to be seen if that's going to be worth the money even over the 7700K. But with the Ryzen CPUs, what we saw here today is if you are a gamer and you just want to get really good performance for the dollar, then the Ryzen CPUs do offer fantastic value for money. And also if you're a competitive gamer, then I will be releasing a video comparing the 7700K to the Ryzen 5 1700 to see how much of a difference there is in competitive multiplayer titles. And with that test, I will be dropping the graphical settings. As opposed to this video, it's more about getting a really good experience when you are gaming. Anyway guys, if you enjoyed today's video, then be sure to hit that like button and let me know in the comment section below if you were to build a PC today, what parts would you use? Love reading your comments as always and I'll catch you in another tech video very soon. Peace out for now. Bye.